So again, we have a logic problem, basically. We know that we have 100 tosses of a coin, and each toss of the coin gives a point value. If it's heads, you get two points. If it's tails, negative two points. After 100 tosses, the total points was 20. So there's an excess number of heads, we can see, because there's a positive outcome. So we have to figure out how many heads this is. So we just have 20 divided by 2. That's 10 excess heads values. So that means of the remainder, so this is 10 tosses for heads, we have 100 minus 10. There were 90 other tosses. Those must have been equal. These are the same value, but opposite. So that must have been an equal number of either one. So 90 divided by 2 gives us 45 of each heads and tails. So the total number of tosses and heads must be 45 plus this 10. So 45 plus 10 gives us a total of 55 heads tossed.